So I was in the cereal aisle of the supermarket the other day. I noticed a lot of cereals have changed their names from what they were called when I was a kid to make them seem healthier. Like sugar snacks, they're now honey snacks. Sugar corn pops are now corn pops. Death cereals, life. <laughs> and Kellogg's Raisin Bran is superior to other raisin brands because it has two scoops of raisins. The others evidently have just one scoop of raisins. And it doesn't make sense since a scoop is not any sort of standardized measure that I ever heard of. Well, you can make a scoop as big or as small as you want. And even Kellogg's is not consistent because the little tiny single serving box says two scoops of raisins. <laughs> so we have been using these little tiny scoops. Now that box has way too many raisins in it. Every person's got a quality that for them sort of defines who they are. And there are some guys who are really tall, some guys are really good looking. My thing's always been that, that I'm smart. And I would trade that for any of those other things. Because <laughs> there's so much pressure to prove it all the time. A tall guy just has got to stand. <laughs> good looking guy doesn't even have to stand. I visited a friend of mine, and he moved to a building that doesn't have a doorman, it has the, the, the buzzer. And I find this very stressful, because you ring the bell, he starts buzzing you in, you realize you have about three seconds to figure out how to dismantle his particular system. Sometimes there's a lever, sometimes there's a knob, but it doesn't turn, there's a knob that does turn. You make it through the first door, and then sometimes there's this second door. And it's not clear if you have enough time to make it through that door, too. And maybe you better go back so you don't get trapped between the two doors. So you go back, go through the shame of re-buzzing. <laughs> Your friend will buzz you in that second time, but that buzz and every other buzz for the rest of the time, you know this guy is a five minute buzz. <laughs> so I'm married for over 10 years, and I find that my wife is a little more critical of me now than she was on, say, our first date. <laughs> What I don't like is when I'm criticized for something that I'm doing well. Like when I go grocery shopping, you know, I, I got the list. Get peanut butter, quarter milk, skim, all that. But then there are things on the list that are a little bit subjective, like three medium-sized onions or two ripe avocados. What am I, a, a botanist? <laughs> then there are things on the list that are not in the supermarket. And I know because I'm staring at the shelf like it's Where's Waldo? <laughs> So I'll always leave at least one thing off the list. Even if it's just one, when I come home, I learn that was the most important thing on the list. <laughs> and I'll say, how could it possibly be that plastic knives were the most important thing on this list? How was I supposed to know you were planning to make a scale model of the White House in cutlery? <laughs> My seven-year-old son is into uh, Pokemon. And he has the cars, and I watched a TV show with him, and I learned the show is about a world where you capture these creatures that live in the wild, you train them to fight against each other, and uh, they knock each other unconscious. Is this not what Michael Vick went to prison for? <laughs> well, kids can be, mis they misbehave a lot, but in New York City, you can't really yell at your kids because you're in an apartment building, there's people like a quarter of an inch away from you, so what you, what you can't do in volume, you have to make up for in like craziness. <laughs> so you're like Jack Nicholson. Don't come out of your bed again. You gotta stay in bed. I told you to stay in bed. <laughs>
We're not in the game show, Password Plus. You have to ask me a question directly for me to answer. I'm not answering a question that way. And I'm also offended it's just inefficient. Who are you? Three syllables. And you, uh, also three syllables, but that last one is kind of long. <laughs> Any question you really want to know the answer to, you wouldn't ask that way. If you broke your arm, you're not going to say, excuse me, the hospital, it's a... Uh... <laughs> when you're proposing, you don't say, you're going to marry it. Yeah. So, so you got you to ask me the right way, and she does, and I answer, and I go to the doctor, and he says, and you have pain in your... <laughs> okay, to finish up, I have, uh, I have small children, and they don't listen. It's hard to get them to listen. You try to punish them, you try to yell. Different things don't work. So eventually you try just making different threats. But you make the threat, and then they, they do it anyway, and then you have to follow through on the threat. And so many of these threats you can't even follow up on. You're like, listen, it's Thanksgiving tomorrow. If you don't do a good bedtime, grandma's not coming. <laughs> you can't follow through on it. They, they screw around, and grandma comes, and they know that you're bluffing. So, so I figured it out. Just make up some stuff, promise them some stuff that it was not, wasn't going to happen anyway. It's Thanksgiving tomorrow. If you don't do a good bedtime, Spider-Man's not coming. They so screw up. The next day, you're like, hey, Spider-Man passed the sweet potatoes. Oh, he's not here because you screwed up bedtime. I know it's mean, but it works. My kids think that Santa Claus is supposed to come quarterly. So I've been watching those uh, Olympics, and something that confuses me in the in the swimming is why do they have all these different strokes? You don't have this in running. It's not like first time around the track, run regular. Second time, run backwards. Third time, skip. Fourth time, do do this thing. No, it should just be do what you got to do to cut across the pool as fast as you can. I can guarantee you when Michael Phelps is being chased by a shark, he's not doing the butterfly stroke. <laughs> I see a lot of people drinking beer, and you might have a friend like this that I have, thinks that beer is the universal currency. Anytime I lay out money for him, he's like, hey, uh, I'll get you a beer. I'm thinking, I don't want a beer. <laughs> I want my 30 bucks. <laughs> What bank does this guy belong to? Like when he goes to the ATM, is there like a keg tap is there for, for withdrawals? There's like a big funnel he pours beer into to make deposits? I what is he keep thinking. The other day I had a problem with my, my credit card. So you call the credit card company and the first thing they do is they have you type in, you know, your 16 digit thing on the phone. A couple of minutes goes by, customer service comes on. First thing they ask, What's your 16 digit thing? So I say to them, I just typed in, isn't it on like a, a computer somewhere? And they say, well, yes, it is, but this is, this is for, uh, for security. Who is this securing me from? The, the guy who stole my credit card and lost it in between the time that he typed it in the first time and when they asked him for it. <laughs> But then when you tell them your 16-digit thing, you realize they're not interested in security at all. Because instead of asking me more questions, they just start telling me things. They're like, oh, am I speaking to Gary? Yes. Stephen on 49 West 87th? Yeah. <laughs> Phone number still, 917-552-6132? Yes. Mother's maiden name still, Lieberman? <laughs> yes. <laughs> If they're going to do that, they should throw in some decoy questions, run a little sting operation. <laughs> they could be like, still living on West 14th Street? Yes. You busted. <laughs> Stay right there. <laughs> Police <laughs> will be on their way. <laughs> and when are people going to realize that mother's maiden name is not a secure thing? You want to know my mother's maiden name? Go ask my cousin who has her, that name. It's her, it's her just last name all the time. <laughs> I mean, what was I going to do? Hey, Uncle Richard, time for you and Aunt Roberta and Liz and Stephanie to go into exile. I just got a credit card. <laughs> okay, that's all the time I have. Thank you very much. Thanks, everyone, for coming. I really appreciate it.